Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chandler and today we are playing another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. This video is going to be probably about as long as the last one, except this time I'm doing face cam. I did do face cam in the last one as well, but I ended up taking it out because it looked really stupid. But this time, I am ready to go. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know my glasses make me look dorky, but I don't really care. So we are going to pick up right where we left off last time, and we are going to pick out the words to write a poem to Best Girl. And who we're going to choose for Best Girl, I don't know yet. I'm, honestly, I like Sayori and Monica. Uh, I guess Monica's not a choice. But I really do like Sayori. I kind of like Natsuki too. Yuri's just kind of there. She's chill, but whatever. So we're going to choose... Pickle, Yuri. Um, lazy, say right. Doki Doki. Uh, love. Poof. Tragedy. What the fuck? Why does Sayori jump for tragedy? Uh, uncanny. Massacre. Calm. Secretive. Incapable, rainbow, hurt, lust. Ooh, Yuri's got some lust. Maybe she is best girl. Shit. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Um, Inferno, nibble, marshmallow, kitty, scars. Dude, Sayori's fucking dark, man. What the hell? Anyway, um, uh, final one. Unrequited. What is up with Sayori, man? She's fucking dark. Hi again, Chandler. Glad to see you didn't run away, awesome. Wait, run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. We good. Chandler, Monica, back in action. Friends, 2019. You know, it's 2018. Forget it. Whatever. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Yep, Chandler's always keep that word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Chandler. Wait, what voice did I hear? <clears throat> Thanks for keeping your promise, Chandler. Like a very sultry, like, mmm, mmm. So it's kind of deep. It's kind of too deep for a girl's voice, but whatever. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. Like, I could forget your voice, Natsuki. Not gonna happen. Siri so told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. This year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out, or what? But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the classroom. M -m -m -m. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. I totally agree. Manga is literature. 100%. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Chandler always gives his best, as long as he's having fun. I feel like the only girl that has a different voice is Natsuki. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. As the series progresses, I'll probably find new voices for all the characters. But for now, Natsuki's the only one I've really come up with. Just because she's such a bitch. She's gotta have the Valley Girl. Because she is Valley Girl. Ah, uh, shit. I missed one. What did that say? What did that say? Uh, history, history. Uh, he helps me with busy work without me even asking, like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable, Siri. That's because your room is so messy, it's distracting, and you almost set your house on fire once. Once. Is that so? <laughs> You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Mm -hmm. How come? You and Chandler can become good friends too. 
I love the art. Like, just look at the art on Sari's eyes. I fucking love that shit, man. Uh, um, Sayori. Hmm? Yeah? This is the face he's giving her right now. Really? As usual, Sarah seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Uh, oh! Yuri even brought you something to... <laughs> oh, oh! Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori? Eh? Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. Wait, that was Sayori. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. K -k -k kawaii Damn, she tall. Like, I knew she was tall when you can see skirts. Damn. Sarah made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what I do? What do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. It, is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal if you don't want me to. I don't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. Make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. I can read in English, I swear. Probably. Alright. Well, here. Your reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. Wow, bitch much? It's a short read, so it should keep your attention. Because you're an idiot. That's what she's saying. She's calling me an idiot. Which is kinda true. And we could, you know, discuss it. If you wanted. Wait. If you wanted. This this is how is this girl accidentally being so cute? It's not an accident. It's all a mind game. She's toying with you, man. She even picked out a book she'll thinks I like. She'll she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Whew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sarah and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging in the closet. Random, same exact scene, but okay, thanks for the transition. Man, looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess it makes sense. I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Mm -hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Huh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, like cupcakes, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event, like cupcakes. So it's important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? 
Sayori is is taking this really seriously. It's rare for her to be. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh. That's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? R what kind? Like cupcakes? Uh. Well, I guess we could. Cupcakes. How did I know? Because this whole anime revolves around cupcakes. It's not even an anime. This whole light visual novel revolves around cupcakes. It's not even about literature. It's about fucking cupcakes. Aha! Uh -huh. Good. Aha! Uh -huh. Good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Wait, no, that's not serious voice. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That was not why you suggested it? Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. This is why she's best girl. Best girl, number one. Whole game, Sayori, best girl. <laughs> Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I found myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies an unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I ended up letting, I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Whoa, she's close. Just look at that. She's like right there. She's right here. I could touch her. I could almost touch her. Oh, Jesus Christ, Siri. Wah! Open my eyes and find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> Sorry. Nice graphic. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. What were you doing? Trying to make out with me? Was Sarah trying to make out with me? She wants me. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? This is a serious question, Sarah. Does our school have a motherfucking napping club? Because I want in. You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're going to have less time for anime, you know? You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glanced over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know. I know. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. It's currently 12 o'clock at night. And normally I'm passed out by now because I go to work. But... I need to record because I'm not going to have any days off this week, so I got you back. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. I wish I had a Sayori. I want my own Sayori. Can I have my own Sayori, please? Is this a thing that we can make happen? Can I have my own Sayori? No. Damn it. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? N not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I know it. Come on! I don't like how it's more emphasized on the mmm than it is on the ah. So it should be like, come on. But it's come on. <laughs> I know I'm an idiot. Stop. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Not honestly. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Eh? Sayori glances around at herself. I do have boobs. That kind of thing? Yeah. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Ah! 
I run my fingertips down the side of Sorry's hair, trying to straighten it out. Mm-hmm. 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 Man, you really need to you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's toothpaste and there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right there. Yeah, see? It's right there. Right there. I know you can't see it because my mouse doesn't show because of OBS. But it's right there. It's right. 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 Right there. Right there. Trust me, it's there. Actually, hold up. I can fix this. It's right here. Right there. Mm-hmm. Right there. And now we're back. Okay. That was fun. Alright, and there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right there. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want you to embarrass you. I just don't give a shit. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? Dude, whoa, you're about to cross the line, man. That's super mean. That was probably really loud, I'm sorry. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh, we got our first close-up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just add. It was over. But it was I, Dio! <laughs> Alright, and we are back. So, like I said, close up. Little baby socks down there at the bottom. Not gonna comment on those. Anyway. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Look at that little drop of sweat right here. You think she's, like, nervous because she's, like, freaking out a little bit? Or, what's up? Eh? Uh -huh. Don't say that. Wait, that was me. Eh? Uh -huh. Don't say that. You're making me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. You know what's weird? I actually had a friend exactly like this when I was in high school. Her name was And... She was a year older than me, but we were still in the same grade. We went to the same class since kindergarten. And we were together all through that time. Like, bits and pieces, we didn't see each other for a while here and there. But then when we were together, we were always, like, best friends. Like, we were, did everything together. We helped each other with everything. And, I mean, not to brag or anything, but I'm, it's, like, really good in school. It's really good in school. And she, not so much. So I, she'd always end up having me help her with her homework, helping her with her housework, all that kind of stuff. And then I would just be there like, shut up, stupid. So it's almost exactly like the same situation. And it's really weird because she is not in a good place right now. And I have just completely cut all ties just because I don't want to be a part of that. But damn. But this is like almost exactly how we were in high school. And it's really creeping me out a little bit because that's just like I haven't thought about this in like a couple years. But this is really weird. That's kind of interesting, actually. Oh, God. You guys can see my giant forehead. Aren't you? Uh... Uh, I guess? Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Jesus Christ, I wonder why it's hard to close. <laughs> it's because she got them big bouncy boobies. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. So your tits have grown this much. And, like... A couple of months? Jesus. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. You would have. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. Oh my god, Sayori. Oh my god, Sayori. Oh my god. She's just coming right out with the booby talk. She's just coming right out with the booby talk. She's not even... Mm, mm, best girl. D don't say that out loud. 
Anyway, all right. Anyway, you look much better now. So, uh, why does it feel so strange to say Sayori's blades are buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. I mean, but it's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all. Sorry, hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew. That's so much better. Sarah puts her arms out and twists around. Twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that was a good thing? Because then I can have you all to myself. <laughs> she wants me. Because... If I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. So I'm saying all these embarrassing things. Like, now. Actually, keep saying them. Please keep saying them. It's all I want in life. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine, whatever. Jesus Christ, it's a deal. <laughs> I guess we are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Uh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Chandler, I can't wait to read yours. I bet you can't, my love. Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember a poem last night? Yep. Sure did. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's, on a, Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose, leaf torn, of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Ooh, okay, so who do we want to pick first? Ooh. You know, let's just get... Let's just get the worst ones out of the way first. We're going to start with Yuri's, just because... Yuri's, like, last girl right now. And... Natsuki's like second last girl. It's really more between like Sayori and Monica as of right now. I love those two. I love Natsuki. She's third best girl out of the four. Yuri, I'm not really into. But so we'll go ahead and start with Yuri. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinions to be fair. Uh, mm, uh. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh, S sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine, don't force, it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not, I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on, okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Oh, uh, so it's that bad, huh? No! Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh god, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry! Yuri buries her face in her hands. <laughs> just like that. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there's, there's specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize is in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. 
In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is both the is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you'd be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice, and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fun. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. It's probably one of the three. Probably. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if it's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kinda of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ooh, Jesus Christ. Alright, uh Ghost Under the Lights. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining uh, last remaining streetlights who have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the, of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Whoa. That shit's fucking deep, dude. And it fucked up my lighting, too. But whatever. Okay. That was, like, fucking deep, man. Uh, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh, that's because they don't t teach cursive in public schools anymore. Mm hmm That's why. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer po I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Oh, it's deep as shit, so... Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost theory? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Chandler. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only, behind, is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. Mm. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Oh, she's counting on us. All right. Should we finish these up on the next episode, or should we just go ahead and have this episode be a little longer? We'll go ahead and pick this up next time. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below on what you want to see more of next. If you want to see more Doki Doki Literature Club, I'm still going to do it anyway. But if you guys want to see it or not, let me know that. And other, other visual novel series that you want to do. Remember, I have a whole list on one of my older videos. Uh, giving you a full list of all the stuff I have. Also, go ahead and throw that list up on that side of the screen. And yeah, guys. Once uh, And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. And remember to click that bell so you know when all my new videos are coming out. Later, guys. Bye.